From record warmth to record cool, we're talking about a big change coming across the East Coast in a matter of a couple of days with some seeing snow. But what about November? I'll take a closer look all the way through Thanksgiving. Hi, everybody. I'm Chief Meteorologist Chris Justice. Early warnings of severe weather, a reliable forecast you can count on, and a direct approach you won't find anywhere else. I love what I do, and I appreciate you subscribing to this channel. All right, let's get right to the nitty gritty. Rain on Halloween's never a good thing, but there will be some showers to contend with today as this cold front marches east. More uh, so, the colder air. Look at this cold front. I mean, yesterday we had record highs in the 80s in areas like Charlotte, tied a record, Asheville broke a record, Greenville to Atlanta, very close to records. To today, almost 30 degrees cooler as that Arctic air is spilling east, and it means business, 20s and 30s all pushing to the east. Let's take a closer look at where we go into trick-or-treating because I know some of you just don't want to see rain on trick-or-treating, but unfortunately, as we go to tonight, I'm going to pause it right here. This would be 7 p.m., which is probably the heart of trick-or-treating time, uh, or you're, you're trying to wrap it up if you get started a little bit early earlier. Uh, there will be cloud cover, and in those clouds, unfortunately, I think it's going to be a few sprinkles here or there. It's not going to be anything pronounced or, or, or soaking, but similar to last Halloween, if you might remember, across areas in the east, there was some drizzle, some light rain here or there. Probably the case for some of us, but a lot of us are going to be dry. Do know that it's going to be really windy. Our temperatures are plummeting right now, and as we go throughout the day, it's probably one of those days where the, the temperature goes backwards. We're going to get colder as the day goes on, and that's going to lead to some flurries in the North Carolina mountains, even some snow showers, and then waking up tomorrow morning to 20s and 30s, a hard freeze in many areas, and that cold air making as far south as Florida. Central Florida, back through the panhandle in the 40s in Central Florida, 30 showing up from Panama City Beach West. Uh, you know, we're talking about a real cool down that's going to impact many to where Wednesday afternoon, those high temperatures are going to be the coldest on record for November 1st. Uh, we're talking about highs barely getting out of the 30s in the mountains of North Carolina, the 40s and 50s across the upstate of South Carolina, stretching through Georgia and Florida. It's going to be a pronounced cool down coming our way. On top of that, it's windy. Look at those peak wind gusts today. Uh, as we go into tonight, those gusts get up to 40 or 50. 50 miles per hour along the Appalachian Mountains. That means the wind chill is going to be brutal. Folks, check this out. Going into Wednesday morning, those wind chill values, 10. We're talking single digits above 5,000 feet in elevation. So bundle up. This is this would be cold for the heart of winter. And here we are going into November 1st. This will surprise you tomorrow morning. And, and wind chill values in Atlanta, 21. Charlotte, 25, 26. The Panhandle of Florida, 29. So bundle up. Make sure you're wearing lots of layers going into tomorrow. It's going to feel like the heart of winter. And yes, snow. Look at the snowpack. This is going to bring in some snow showers, some, some heavier snow back through uh, the northeast, up through parts of Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire. Not talking about a lot, but two to three inches in grassy areas. Stretching as far south as the Appalachian Mountains, Boone could see a quick dusting uh, and up through snowshoe. It's that time of year where these cold fronts start bringing in some snow. Other than that, over the next week, I'm mapping out the next week. Uh, let's get through it here, scrub through. Looks like we're, we're cool this week, but by Saturday, Sunday, we're warming up. I just see us being quite dry into the weekend. Looks like another cold front starts to come our way, and a pronounced cold front at that. By November 7th, this would be going into next Tuesday. This will begin to cool us down with additional snow breaking out across Asheville northbound, where a quick dusting to an inch could form in some areas. This means the leaves are likely to get off the tree in a hurry here. We'll cool down, but it looks like a short-lived cool down. How about the outlook moving forward? Six to ten days out, I'm looking at above average temperatures. 8 through 14, we're looking at near normal temperatures and then getting closer to Thanksgiving week itself. It looks like there's no discerning data either way, so equal chances of being below or above normal. It looks like we have a at least our better chance with this next cold front next Tuesday coming in, giving us a better shot at some rain across the East Coast. Otherwise, that drought is just going to continue for areas of Texas and Louisiana, and we need rain, folks. We're in a level 3 and 4 drought across parts of Alabama, Georgia, into the Carolinas. We need a good soaking rain, and I just don't see it coming. That drought's likely to continue in many areas. So where do we go from here? Going into November, I see us being pretty tame. No big swings either way. You see that cool down coming in behind that second cold front about the 7th, 8th, 9th, maybe the 10th. 
Other than that, we're actually going to be warming up. The data shows here going into Thanksgiving week, we could be looking at a warm-up coming our way to where Thanksgiving week could be in the 70s across a good bit of the East Coast. I caution you there because that means the more warm we get going into the last week of December, uh, of November, when we enter December, look for a pronounced cool down. Could be the first, could be the fourth, fifth, sixth, somewhere in that time frame. Watch out. There could be a surprise cool down and a surprise snow for some across the East Coast. We've had it happen in 2017 on December 7th, 2018, December 8th. So two years back to back, we got some pretty significant snow. And the weather pattern, the El Nino setup, very similar to what we're seeing, a record-breaking El Nino coming to the East Coast. Uh, that means an active jet stream, an active pattern where we'll get storm after storm after storm. And if the cards line up and we get that cool air to match up, watch out. Look for some snow. So that's what I got for you, folks. Thank you so much. And as always, if you don't subscribe to my channel, please go ahead and do so. I really appreciate you uh, following me here on this page. It means a lot. I love what I do. It's a passion of mine since I was... Eh, this big <laughs> as we move on through. Hey, at the Justice Home tonight, we've got uh, Mario riding Yoshi, we've got Luigi, and we've got a Princess Peach tonight in the Justice Home. Hope you guys have a safe Halloween. Watch out for those kiddos tonight. There are some crazy drivers out there. Make sure you stay safe as you're out trick-or-treating. I'll keep you posted, everybody.